Guys, in approximately two days, we're gonna be moving into our very first shop, our first business shop. I've moved into a shop before, but this is our first business shop. And this thing, this place is just massive. So all of our future projects and all of our builds and everything you guys gonna be seeing on this channel from here on out is gonna be at that shop where we'll be conducting business, but also our builds and just absolutely everything. And we have honestly so much to pack here. I have so much in my shed, so much in my backyard, and so much in my garage. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start packing before I actually show you guys the new shop. And after a few hours of pretty much moving things around, this is stuff I'm actually taking back to the backyard. Uh, this is stuff I gotta go dropped off at AutoZone and O'Reilly's to get rid of that oil. But this is actually all the stuff I'm taking with me. As you guys can see, this is all I'm leaving with me. And honestly, that's all R8 stuff. Once that all goes on the R8, literally, I'm just gonna have a little t table right over here. The rest of the stuff is cleared up over here. I'm actually gonna be taking these quick jacks as well, but for now, I'm just gonna leave them on the wall right there. On this side, we took absolutely everything as well. There's literally nothing there. I am gonna leave the fridge over here but yeah, as you guys can see, there is so much stuff that I gotta take with me. But at this point, I'm actually gonna head to my backyard, go into my shed, and get every other car part left in that shed over here as well, because might as well make this garage kind of like a showroom garage, and literally do all of our filming, and all of our work, and business, and everything at that shop that we're moving into right now. So without further ado, um, let me go ahead and fill up this garage some more. So as you guys can see, this is nothing. And we're back, and as you guys can see, the garage... <laughs> It is so, so, so packed, guys. I literally have things on things on things. You guys can see that this garage is pretty much completely full and everything's pretty much boxed up too. Like this is being pretty, I don't know what the term I'm looking for, pretty like, it, it, like I'm using the most amount of square footage I can with this area. And uh, long story short, the garage is pretty much full. I only left myself a walkway so I can literally walk out of the garage. But that's about it, guys. Like, oh my God, I have so much stuff here. Um, this is all either from the backyard or from my garage or from my shed. The shed is pretty much empty. The garage is gonna be empty. And this shop, I mean, this isn't even gonna make a dent in it. So I'm super excited about that. So yeah, as soon as he sends me the lease, we're gonna head down to the shop, get things situated, and then finally bring all my stuff over there. And just like that, guys, we have our very own massive shop. It is absolutely insane. To think this is where our lives pretty much ended up after years and years and years of working on BMWs and YouTube and all that kind of good stuff. It's just absolutely insane. So we finally got our very own shop. I've been in the works on this for literally months, months on months on months. I know I haven't really said exactly what this business is gonna be, but it's officially time to say, yo man is gonna be an automotive dismantler. So I'm actually working on my dismantling license as we speak. It is something that takes time. The hardest thing was honestly getting this shop, getting a shop that's actually zoned um, to properly allow you to dismantle cars is super difficult. It's been something I've been working on for absolutely, I think like better part of half a year. Um, I mean, I had the idea for years, but I've been looking to get a shop for six months now and I finally land my hands on one. Now this one is quite massive. It's a little out of budget, but we're gonna make it work by just grinding it out every single day here, guys. So not only am I gonna be uploading a lot on this YouTube channel, but we're also gonna be working day and night with this business as well. After years and years and years of rebuilding cars, I've realized that most of my money as a rebuilder, as somebody that does automotive content, has been going to dismantlers, which is what we're doing now, um, to get parts for our build. So I figured not only are we gonna end up rebuilding cars, but we're also gonna end up parting out cars, um, which makes life not only cheaper, but very profitable, which hopefully, hopefully, will turn this channel to something much, much, much bigger. For those of you guys who are excited for this new business venture, make sure to smash the like button. YouTube has been like the thing for me, my dream. I got my dream car pursuing my dream career and now that that milestone is literally crushed we have to set a new milestone and obviously I have other cars I have other dreams in life and this is what this place is gonna do exactly so first things first as you guys can see we have one garage door over here we also have an upstairs and we have another garage bay over here I actually tried parking in my i3 and my i3 from this garage door pretty much ends right about here so you guys can kind of see the size of this shop I could pretty much park my truck and trailer and two 
four other or three other cars right behind that and that's just one line this is a 3300 square footage shop which is kind of crazy you guys can see my i3 is parked right there we have all these parking spaces right up here we have one two three four and five right in front of the shop we have the shop in there which i'll show you guys that in a little bit but again here's the shop space that door is sealed up we're going to be not using that whatsoever this garage door unfortunately is broken but we are going to get it fixed the lighting is also going to get fixed here in the near future when i mean near future i mean hopefully this week we got the power management stuff over there that's not that cool and then coming around over here guys we have this section right over here that's actually shaded as well so we can actually dismantle cars right over here before actually bringing in the parts so that's super nice you have this little section here all these parking spaces right over there this entire section over here we have so much space to just enjoy life enjoy our cars and just you know start start building something new come around over here this is the the shop bathroom so yeah nothing really special about it we actually have a bathroom sign we don't have any electricity unfortunately i'm still waiting for the electricity guy to come out here and give us some power but yeah this is a bathroom nothing really too special about it so we have one bathroom over here um which is you know cool and all that's not the coolest part but what's crazy is when i see 3300 square footage that does not include the top stairs the top stairs um is just basically an extension that's basically not considered with the square footage it's basically free space which i mean i'm never gonna say no to free space let me show you guys what we have up here it's definitely gonna need a lot of renovation it's definitely gonna need a lot of work but let me just show you guys what i'm talking about exactly so right up here we don't actually have any power as you can see we have all the, like, the sprinkler lines all the power lines um the lights over here it definitely needs a lot of cleaning uh, the flooring is literally just wood i could probably put in some flooring here and definitely make it a lot nicer we could definitely put some boxes around here um and this is actually another room right over here and as you guys can see it's not really done it's not really considered part of the grid of the shop it's just some extra space which uh you know we can either use for storage or you know maybe do a podcast room or something cool in here you know youtube related which i think is gonna be kind of cool and then come around over here this is the actual office space now i wish there wasn't so much office space as you guys can see this entire section was office space i wish I had a little more shop space than office space but end of the day having some office space is gonna be pretty cool so come around over here this is the front door to the shop you guys can see there's a beamer right there um yeah so this is pretty much the office room thankfully we already have some wood here the walls are literally every single color you guys can ever think of um so yeah we need to go ahead and just start painting you guys can see that this all needs paint as well the flooring is done here thankfully this also is another room um that i need to figure out what we're going to do for exactly i just cannot wait for the lighting to kick in it does have carpets in here so we definitely have to get that uh replaced and then come around over here is just another office space we have the mercedes benz logo on the wall not really too sure if we're going to keep that it does look kind of cool but at the same time we're not a Mercedes place, we're a BMW place. Right over here is another bathroom, nothing crazy, but if you guys look over here, craziest part is we got a shower we got a shower in a shop so when i'm over here working late nights i can actually take a shower before getting into my car and heading back home which is honestly a way bigger deal than you guys think because honestly dismantling cars you're gonna get filthy you're gonna get dirty and you would want to clean yourself before hopping in your car and heading back home so that's honestly just such a huge blessing and i'm very happy about that and uh without further ado let me just cut back to you guys and we actually get some power in here and start doing some renovations all right guys so we're back but unfortunately i'm um, still no lights, but we did get a lot of stuff for the shop. And just like that, guys, we have rags, we have paint, we have toilet stuff, we have things to pretty much get the bathrooms cleaned up and at least the office space somewhat better. You guys can see it's a, literally a million colors. We got gold, we got red, we got black, we got some more red, and then this is gray. So I don't know what's going on over here, but we need to repaint every single wall here. Uh, we need to mask off the flooring. We need to redo the bathroom. We need to clean up the bathrooms, repaint the bathrooms. I just want this place as clean as possible, and it'll definitely look a whole lot better with white walls i'm definitely not liking these brown walls it just it just doesn't look good so anyways not really much other things to say let's just go ahead and get to it we have a lot of work to do and i just wish the lights were on but in the meantime we'll make the best of it and just try to get as much work done as possible with the amount of pain and rent we gotta make every day count <laughs> Thank you. 
And guys, after days and days worth of work, we finally got the offices pretty much done. As you guys can see right now, uh, all the boys are over. We got Erlon and his uh, brother-in-law. We also have my boy Jonathan and my brother. They're all helping me get this place together ASAP um, so we can get this business moving forward. We can also start getting videos out to you guys. I just really wanted this place done ASAP. And shout out to all of them for willingly wanting to help uh, make this place like amazing. Um, if you guys actually check out the bathroom as well, we started ripping out a bunch of things. This is a medicine cabinet. It was just just so beat up it wouldn't even close we started ripping things out everything honestly we saw in the bathroom I pretty much just tore out so we can repaint the walls and just put our own things so we can feel a lot more comfortable with that stuff and then inside the offices I started pretty much trying to patch every single hole um, this was like an easy way to patch a hole I just bought a couple parts uh, put in some filters to plug up a huge hole because that goes to absolutely nothing um, so yeah put a filter so we get less you know insects and bugs inside the shop uh, the the lights were also missing some things so we ended up picking up uh, like the replacement glasses for them and like I said guys we're pretty much just trying to renovate this as much as we can to make it presentable to make it a nice storefront um, and just you know have it a place we can call as a second home and also to make it look good in the videos finally guys moving in let's go ahead and get everything loaded up into this U-Haul So after getting the shop painted, I actually got a phone call from one of my boys uh, that they actually have some pallet racks available. I needed some pallet racks. They are super expensive. Um, we got these bad boys. Shout out to my boy Fonzie for recommending me to a friend of his that had these bad boys, which are the perfect size height um, for my shop. We'll get those installed in a bit. Same day, I actually went to IAA to pick up our first first donor car, our first parts car um, for the dismantling business, which is a 335 IES. It's such a sick car. It even comes with a D. CT transmission and not only did we actually pick up this car that day we ended up picking up something else as well that's a super sick spec but just check out this 335 IS guys it is so 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 sick it did take forever to get it off the trailer because the whole front end suspension was ripped off the car um, so yeah this is one of those cars we wouldn't save but we'll use the parts to save future cars but yeah as soon as we got that car off the trailer I headed out again um, third time today after getting the pallet racks the 335 IS to pick up another amazing parts car which is a 335 e93 um, which is not special but check out this interior guys we have a manual gearbox red interior honeycomb trim cic navigation full bolt-on it was just such a sick car what is up guys what's going on i want to close this door for this thing starts freaking out <laughs> what's up guys so finally finally as you guys can see we got the walls painted. It was a million gazillion colors. We got the white walls looking so good. We got these walls done as well. And then we also got that room back there as well. As you guys can see as well, we have electricity. And electricity did take the better part of two weeks to get. Like we did all this work honestly without electricity. We didn't do this room until just recently, um, mainly because we really couldn't see what we were doing. Um, the flooring is already wood here, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you guys the shop now um, after all the revisions that we did. And uh, it's, it's just good enough for us to move forward and start actually you know, opening up the business and um, start filming more and things like that. And I say filming more, but again guys, bear with me because uh, yeah, there's just so much to do with not only the business side and the YouTube, side and uh, the licensing side there's just a lot of things that need to get done also the prep and everything there's just so much things been going on and uh, just try to get these videos out to you guys as much as I can to keep you guys as much posted as possible um, but anyways again so cool stuff in here these are the office rooms uh, this is actually gonna be the lunch room slash break room um, for hopefully when we have a staff and a team here uh, working at Maddie Auto Parts so for those of you guys who didn't know um, yes this business is gonna be an auto parts display 
dismantling uh, business. It's gonna be pretty sick, mainly because you guys already know, I've been rebuilding BMWs for a while now and I've been buying my parts from dismantlers for as long as I could remember. So I figured if I'm gonna be rebuilding BMWs, I might as well also have the parts to build them more cost effective and provide parts to you guys at a discount, at a better price. Um, so it's a woman for all of us. We're all saving BMWs. And uh, for the BMWs that can't be saved, we're gonna be using the parts, recycling the parts to save some more BMWs. So uh, we're still living up to that saving BMW spirit. Um, this is actually the uh, main bathroom right over here. Nothing too crazy. It looks, still needs a little bit more work. Um, we still need to clean the bathroom as well. But the craziest thing is, just to kind of show you guys, this, this, this place has a shower. I don't think anyone's actually seen a bathroom in a shop that has a shower, so I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, but the main thing is, the main thing is, it's gonna be the shop space. Let me show you guys this stuff back here. So come around to the inside. This is where we're pretty much doing all of our packing and getting things sent out. Um, again, this is me just assuming everything's gonna be successful and everything's gonna be running successfully. Uh, we haven't even really started the business, but, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just trying to get things organized and ready so when we do get the license, we can go ham. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this is our packing situation. We're gonna have when UPS, uh, you know, all the FedEx trucks come over here, we're we'll gonna get things out over here. It'll be super nice and convenient. Um, coming around over here, as you guys can see as well, we painted all the walls black, which looks so, so, so good. We got the storage racks up. These are some industrial high grade storage racks. These can handle engines, transmissions, all the good stuff. So we got quite a few levels on this side. We got a couple more levels right over there as well. And we have that kind of splitting up the dismantling area. And this area, we're gonna actually be placing parts that need to get cleaned and ready for listing. Um, and uh, I think the picture's gonna be taken against this wall right over here. We're gonna try to have some kind of backdrop and ugh, I'm talking too fast because there's so much going on. Uh, but yeah, any, not as of right now, but there was so much going on in my head and I'm trying to like translate it to y'all. So again, photo, photo booth area, um, shipping area right over there, cleaning parts area and just setting, you know, new parts to get clean and listed right over here. Um, and then obviously our dismantling area. So this space right over here, this is one spot, two spot, three spot, four spot for any dismantling that we're gonna be doing on this channel or even rebuilding on this channel. So uh, yeah, we have plenty of space, thankfully. Um, and as you guys can see with these storage racks over here, we have a couple parts. These are all the parts I had in my house. It doesn't even make a dent over here. It makes this place, it just, it just, it literally is like 1% of how much space we have here, which is super nice. You guys saw earlier in the video that we actually had some more storage up there. I'm actually putting all my personal stuff, like, uh, you know, just body work things and personal, like personal build stuff up there. Um, so it gets out of like the business area. So this, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be using that space up there for, is for more personal stuff, personal things for my cars up there, business stuff down here. Um, so as you guys can see as well, we have a 335 IS. And then we also have an E93 uh, 335, which is kind of crazy. These two specs are really sick, um, mainly because when I wanted to start this business, I don't want to get two really basic cars. I figured when we start this business, we're going to start it with some cool cars for people that actually want to get parts off of to start building their cars. So this one right over here, we have a red interior. This is an E93 with really nice, I believe it's coral red, red interior. We got the manual gearbox, the navigation system, the CIC nav, and also you guys already know that I actually sell the retrofit harnesses for this navigation system. So for those of you guys who want the entire kit plus the harness, we can get all that done so you guys can do a complete nav retrofit to your cars. Um, this, yeah, has a bunch of bolt-ons as well. We have down pipes, intakes, charge pipes, blow-off valve, uh, index 12s. We got a bunch of BMS stuff over here as well, and I believe a JV4. So long story short, to kind of give you guys an idea again, this car was hit pretty bad in the front, pretty bad in the rear. Um, I was actually considering on rebuilding this one until I found out as well that this whole quarter panel is all Bondo. You guys can even see that this is chipped off. So from every angle, this car has been literally destroyed. And you guys can check it out right over here as well. Some cars are worth fixing, but you guys can see this one as well. It's, it's just not, it's just not. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So this car, I was gonna save it, but it's gonna end up being a parts car. Um, and again, a lot of the cars we are gonna be saving is gonna be on this channel, and the cars we're not gonna be saving, I'm gonna be showing you guys the rundown and, and what's cost effective to do with the car when you get it that's in this bad condition. This one right over here, honestly, I took a gamble. This is a 335 IS that I just purchased from auction. 
And uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy to say I got a 335 IS this quickly. Um, it's got beautiful interior. As you guys know, we have the honeycomb trim, DCT transmission. Um, everything in this interior, guys, is really, really, really mint. So I'm super happy about that. And then coming around to the front as well, um, I mean, th this is where the damage was. If you guys look right over here to your left, uh, we have both wheels. The suspension has completely ripped off the front end of this 335 IS. Uh, but I mean, the rest of it is good. It's a good engine, good transmission. Uh, we already tested everything out, which I'm super happy about. We got this for a killer deal. And again, this is one of those cars that the entire undercarriage, like all the metals and everything is dinged up. Uh, like even the sides are just dinged up. It's not a car to fix. But at the same time, now we have parts to rebuild other cars and also parts for you guys to rebuild your guys' cars. And that is the reason that I opened up Natty Auto Parts. It's, it's literally been a dream. It's crazy to say that five years ago, I was over here, knew nothing about cars. Not five years ago, I'd say seven years ago now. It's been a minute, dude. Life's crazy. I'm getting old. <laughs> getting old, yeah, it's kind of crazy. But seven years ago, my family had no car background. I've had no car background. My family members had no car background. I decided I wanted to get a BMW, get into BMWs. And uh, long story short, my passion to BMWs and building them on my YouTube channel has led me to starting my first business which is Natty Auto Parts and now we're all going to be able to get sick BMW parts for our cars to modify them and upgrade them but at the same time I continue doing what I love but just at a bigger scale which is pretty awesome so I'll keep you guys posted when we actually get the full office together hopefully that's going to be in the next video is getting the entire office done we still need to get some cleaning done uh, we got to get the bathrooms cleaned out the flooring all resurfaced and cleaned out then we can start moving a bunch of stuff in there we got to get wi-fi in here um, and then we're going to start as soon as we get the license we're going to start going ham so again, little update, little shop update, little Nor update, and hopefully I give you guys some more updates as I get more updates. So without further ado, guys, it's gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys are excited for what's gonna be happening in here, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are excited to get some good deals on some parts, make sure to smash the like button. I'm giving every single one of you guys 10% off when you guys purchase from Natty Auto Parts. Any part that I'm selling, it, whether it's local or whether we're shipping, 10% off to you guys. All you have to mention is that you watch my videos, and then bada bing, bada bang, you guys want 10% off anything I sell. So um, yeah, we're all, not only that, we're also gonna be trying to beat everyone else as well in terms of pricing. So again, I'm doing this for myself, I'm doing this to grow myself, but I'm also doing it for you guys as well, and I wanna give back to especially those of you guys who watch my videos, um, so I think that's gonna be pretty awesome. But without further ado, guys, it's gonna have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See y'all on the next one. Peace out.